Welcome to MathCAD Primers. In this video, I will be showing you how to solve simple quadratic equations using factoring. Suppose problem 3 in my homework says to find the roots of the quadratic equation f of x equals x squared minus 19x plus 18 by factoring. When solving for the roots of a quadratic, the first step is always to set the equation equal to 0. 0 refers to the points on the graph where y equals 0, otherwise known as the x-intercepts on the graph. The next step is to find a pair of numbers that are factors of the constant term, in this case 18, and that sum to the coefficient of the linear or middle term of the quadratic, in this case negative 19. At this point, it pays to think ahead. The constant 18 is positive, so its factors must both be positive or both be negative. The coefficient negative 19 is negative. Since the coefficient is negative, both factors of the constant will be negative. When the answer is not obvious, I like to make a table of the factors of the constant and then check the sums. I can think of three pairs of factors of 18 off the top of my head. Negative 1 and negative 18. Negative 2 and negative 9 and negative 3, and negative 6. There will always only be one factor pair that adds to the number you're looking for. In this case, I want negative 19. Now that I've found the binomials, I'm one step away from having the x values. By setting the product of the binomials equal to 0, I give myself an equation that is easy to solve using the zero product property. If the binomial is x minus 1, I change it to x minus 1 equals 0, and I can tell that x must equal 1. If the binomial is x minus 18, I change it to x minus 18 equals 0, and I can tell that x must equal 18. A cool way I can check to see if my two answers are correct is to define a function using MathCAD, and then plug x equals 1 and x equals 18 into the function. All I do is turn my original Boolean equation into a function definition by swapping out the Boolean equal sign to the assignment operator. Now I can ask MathCAD to evaluate the function when x equals 1 or when x equals 18. When I do this, MathCAD should get 0 as a result. Aha, I was right. This method of checking your work is made easy with MathCAD, though it is simple enough to do in your head. Think of it this way. When x equals 18, I have 18 18s minus 19 18s plus one more 18. 19 total 18s plus 19 total negative 18s gives me zero as a result. Checking x equals one mentally is even easier. One minus 19 plus 18 equals zero. Since I am working in MathCAD, I have plenty of extra time to make a plot to check my work. This is also especially good if you are a visual thinker like I am. Instead of thinking about how many 18s I have, I prefer to be able to see for myself what the answer is. In this case, where the roots on, are on the graph. As you can see, the line does indeed hit the x-axis at 1 and 18. To find the roots of a quadratic function using factoring, we set the equation equal to 0, found our binomial factors, and use the zero product property to find the two possible values for x. Always remember to check and reflect so that you understand your work. In this case, I did so by defining a function and plotting its graph using MathGuide Prime. 